Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and we're going to do a short kind of smaller coaster spotlight today. Now we'll say this coaster had th two other coasters in the park, but I'm going to spotlight them separately um, because they're all pretty big coasters that will take a little bit. Um, so if you download this park file, there will be two other really cool coasters in it, but look at this <laughs> insane RMC. Now I would say structurally might need to have another kind of support hill there but my goodness if we ever wondered what a 300 foot giga would look like here we go um so i believe this one's called skull crusher would be my guess based off of that entrance there and stuff and so it looks like the coaster's having to wait at the top a little bit so what i would suggest is essentially to not try to run as many trains as you're running and we'll get to that in a little bit but it's created by T20 Torres. And I mean, look at this. Is we're going to see the stall in a second. So I see major Zadra vibes are, um, you know, uh, oh gosh, well, I'm blanking right now. But um, Iron Gwazi vibes with that. There's Zadra style kind of. Wow, that looks awesome. I don't know if RMC could ever build a coaster. Um, like this it's 300 foot for their i box i don't know if that'd be possible but it's still cool to see what it looked like in the game and this looks phenomenal so really good cue i mean this fencing like kind of gives it that creepy vibe almost kind of like wicker man at alton towers a little bit so we have a little bit of a backstage now none of this is accessible for guests so this is all just kind of custom uh walls or custom um pathing and stuff and then we head here into the station. Okay, so you've got the opera. Right? Yeah, I don't know what would be right there. Oh, that's just that blank part. Okay, so we got the operator's booth here. And then I wonder... Okay, so that's where the operators can walk out and stuff. Um, and is that the... Is this the coaster exit? Yeah, I think it is. So that's the, that's the exit for the coaster as well. And honestly, using these um, kind of Asian roof pieces, I've seen a couple people do these in styles that are areas that aren't kind of that Asian theme, and it looks really good, especially if you use the kind of darker or gray colors with it. But let's kind of just take a look at this layout, because that's what we're here for, right? So we've got the first massive drop. Actually, no, we'll talk about this after, because I don't want to kind of ruin any of the surprise. Oh my gosh, that inversion right there. Woo! <laughs> looks awesome. Um, now I'll be honest, I have not been on this coaster yet, so um, we're going to see if it lives up to my hype and expectations for it. But let's look at these stats real quick. Everything's all green, which is great. Vertical G's, maybe a little bit too high at the 5.29, but overall I think that's still, as long as it only touches that at one point, I think it's fine. But laterals are good. Max speed, 96 miles per hour, 303 feet without any more time wasted let's go ahead and ride on the coaster
First of all, that first drop is just amazing. Now, I want to pause it here for a second because one thing I wish you could do in this game that please Planet Coaster 2 have varying lift hill speeds because I've heard Iron Gwazi kind of slows as you get to the top. Um, you know, same thing with like Fury 325. At least I remember, I think I remember Fury, maybe Orion. One of the two does that a bit. Um, but you see that on some coasters, they'll pick up or slow um, slow down just a bit based on where it's at. So technically, that looks like it's a little bit steeper than 90 degrees. So this would be the steepest RMC drop. And, I mean, let's just go through element by element, because this coaster was phenomenal. Great speed hill. And that speed hill has to be a little bit bigger because of the size of the first drop. And then you've got your Steel Vengeance, Iron Gwazi, non-inverting turnaround. Then you got two more speed hills that are really, really quick. And then you've got the Zadra style or Goliath style zero G stall. And then you come around to this really quick turnaround, um, which I like. Like it doesn't necessarily change the height and elevation too much. And then you go out down into that. That's not necessarily a death roll. It would just be, um, would that just be a barrel roll dive? I believe is what that would technically be called. Um, because that's kind of like the half of the version on Storm Chaser and stuff. And then this part here, it's not necessarily a triple up because you do go down, but it's kind of got these elements where you go up three straight times, then you outward bank down into a big drop below the structure. Another kind of quick turnaround. And then this kind of 270 degree inversion, kind of like the one at, um, man, why am I forgetting the name of that now? Um, Wallaby Holland, Untamed, there you go. So then you got kind of a barrel roll right there. And then we get around here to the break run. And I will say the second half does slow just a bit, which is obviously understandable because it hits the brakes there. Um, you got kind of a wave turn. Then it's just basically Steel Vengeance like with the pure airtime hills that are just straight, no, no banking or anything, you gotta a little bit of a corkscrew style in there, which you don't see those elements too much on RMCs yet. Um, but man, this this is phenomenal. Like, I mean, there are a couple moments. I think this one could have been smooth just a tad bit more. But overall, I mean, this is better than this is one of the best coasters I've seen, hands down. Um, would we ever see an RMC this height? I don't know. But I think the design of it was just awesome. Um, maybe a couple moments was pretty quick, but I mean, that's to be expected. And honestly, if you look at some of Steel Vengeance or Haiku Guys or Haiku Guys, some of the different RMCs, they go pretty fast through their elements and they're fast paced. Um, I would maybe have to add one more, like maybe move this support structure to the left a little bit and add another one kind of right here, because I don't know engineering wise if it would be able to withstand all that without having a structure near the top. Um, as I'm trying to envision Iron Gwazi's in my head right now. I'm trying to envision where you've got the main supports at. But yeah, this is this is absolutely insane. So now, um, since we just rode in front bumper, let's see what it looks like at night. Yeah, and everything's everything's all lit up, which is great. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to end this with one more coaster ride, but we're going to go in um, seat view and... You know, I know sometimes when you're in seat view, it's not the smoothest of times, but let's go ahead and ride the coaster in the back row. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to go download this on the workshop and show the creator some love. And hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you later.